All right, uh, here we've got this really beautiful uh, bright blue book with this gold uh, decoration on the cover here. It's the Philatelic Record, Volume 13. And you can see these beautiful um, uh, gilted patterns here um, showing different stamp faces. Um, so uh, uh, Philately, or I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, but it's the study of stamps and the history of stamps. So this is a uh, for the Philatelic Society, um, which is a, a, a society in London in the late 1800s that studied stamps and their history. And so that's what this book is about. Um, I was just showing all of the cover there. Main decoration is on the front. It's got some beautiful borders. It's a bit of a stain on the inside flyleaf there. Um, and so here we've got the Philatelic Record, the title page. Um, this says, Yours Faithfully, E.D. Bacon. That's Edward Denny Bacon. Um, and uh, this is a, a photograph there, uh, the frontispiece. Um, and we've got the title page here. And we can see the, the Philatelic Record, uh, volume 13, January to December 1891, published in London. And these pages are showing some signs of wear, but they're still really well intact. They've just got some spotting on them. And here's this great font here. And this uh, this is sort of the first century entry in January, it looks like. It's a beautiful, uh, large capital letter there. It says, No more auspicious commencement of the new year could be wished by collectors than the gratifying intelligence conveyed in the minutes of the meeting of the London uh, Philatelic Society of December the 19th. From a perusal of these, it will be seen that the honorary secretary reported the receipt of a letter from H.R.H., the Duke of Edinburgh, announcing his acceptance of the office of honorary president of the society of the society. The honor thus conferred on the Philatelic Society is indeed signal, and one we believe without precedent in any portion of the world. The cordial and grateful thanks not only of the members of the body thus favored, but of Philatelists in all portions of Her Majesty's vast dominions are due to His Royal Highness for the humor, or for the, <laughs> for, not humor, for the honor he has conferred upon the Philatelic Fraternity. It is common knowledge that the uh, royal princes are always prone to associate themselves with the aspirations and undertakings of the queen's lieges there is no limit to the calls on uh, on their time ability or purse and his royal highness might therefore with every show of reason have declined the proffered office um so it's just uh, mentioning that the duke of edinburgh who is the uh, honorary president of the society and uh, how that's a uh, um quite an honor for them and then here we've got some images of stamps. Um, so this is, uh, it says, novelties, discoveries, and uh, recitation, resuscitations uh, to our correspondents. We shall be glad to receive from collectors and dealers uh, notices of novelties, etc., which can, if desired, be inserted with the sender's name and the date of receipt. Uh, and then it says uh, where to send those communications to. All right, so below here we've got... Um, uh, some adhesives for the Argentine Republic. And we can take a look at these here. And I believe these are all engravings. Though I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this is done. Um, so we can see some for Haiti here, for the Leeward Islands. Got more for Queensland down here. Victoria and the Virgin Islands there. It says one shilling on that. And we've got some post and letter cards here. This one's uh, showing for Austria. Looks like there's some catalogs there. I'm going to flip through. Here's just a few more of these brief uh, adhesives for uh, British South Africa here. Got the Gold Coast in Germany. We've got one for Hong Kong here. It says the accompanying illustration gives a representation of the new provisional on the 10 cent green. Right, and there's an interesting one there. 
So these are mostly just listed by location, it looks like. Here we've got a section for envelopes and wrappers, showing one for the Dominican Republic and then one for India here. Um, so that's the one that's illustrated. It says, our publishers have the current envelope of four annas and six uh, pies with a surcharge encircling the stamp of above India postage. Um, and beneath, two annas and six pies. We append illustration. Might be mispronouncing some of those things, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, and there's one for Maritius. And here it looks like a postcard we've got. And then there's some more catalogs there. Got some larger illustrations here, it looks like, for Correos del Salvador. Centavo. And we've got some larger cards here. Carolina Postale. Uh, these are for Mexico, it looks like. We've got some pretty detailed ones over here. For Nicaragua. And then Salvador. And with this being volume 13, it makes you think about how how many of these must have existed and how just how full of information they are um, and how much work these people are putting into cataloging all of this. Um, here's a stamp from New Zealand. It says, the new 5D value has not yet been cataloged by us, nor can words now be given that will portray in all its beauty the original. Nothing short of the illustration which we give will reveal to the philatelic gaze the full charms of this grotesque delineation of Her Majesty. It is the poorest and most meretricious design that this colony has yet afflicted us with, and of New Zealand's powers in this line we have had many evidences. Why, alas, did the authorities forsake the old designs of Monsieurs Birkins, Bacon, and Co., the veritable joys forever as real things of beauty? So they're uh, really, uh, really criticizing that image there of uh, the Queen. And we've got some images of what looks like a steamboat there. And then some more from the Leeward Islands, and then some more cards from Mexico. And we've got some larger stamps, it looks like, from Honduras. And then here's some larger cards from Honduras as well, the official stamps of South Australia. In the list of compound perforations on page 185 and the last number, just so much information here. And I think all of these um, sort of plates here, so I think all of these have to do with South Australia. So we'll see a few more of those later, I believe. And a philatelic record, another section here. Just sort of flipping through to see if we can find anything we haven't looked at yet. So here's another plate, which I think is showing again stamps from South Australia. Yeah, let's see there. Yep. South Australia says four pence, one penny. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Here's just a few more cards, it looks like, from Paraguay. Another plate here showing more of the South Australian uh, stamps. There was another one that we passed by there, too. Here's some more stamps. These ones, it says un peso, centavo. Here's some cards. And then uh, more for the Leeward Islands. Another postcard here with Victoria printed on it. All 
right, so and now we're just at this index here at the end, and that's the entire book. Oh, and we've got another big stain on the back back uh, leaf there. Um, yeah, I just thought this was a really pretty looking book with a lot of uh, great images in it. Um, if you like the video, feel free to leave us a like or a comment and uh, subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks. Bye.